YouTube, YouTube, what's happening? What's happening? Good morning to y'all. How y'all doing today, man? It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday, March the 20th. It's about, let me see what time it is. Oh, I got my got my time on. It's about 11.30. And uh, walk around this park, man. Get me, I'm going to walk. I'm going to just walk about three miles. And I decide I'm going to chop it up with you guys. I'm heading to San Diego, California in the morning. Um, if anybody's in the San Diego, I don't know when you will see, the, see this, but anybody in the San Diego going to be, I'm going to be in San Diego from the 21st through the 25th. I got that marathon on the you know, 21st through the 26th. Let me see the day. Hold on. The day is the 20. The day is the 20th. Tomorrow's 21st. Uh, two, uh, Friday is the 22nd. Saturday is the 23rd. Sunday is the 24th. Yeah, I will. Leave, I'm leaving Monday on the 25th. I'll be there. The the race is actually on the 24th, which is Sunday. But uh, I'll be in San Diego till then. And um, right now I'm just I'm just walking, get me a good three miles in. And um, this is what I usually do before I, you know, sometimes if, if I can, before I, you know, before I leave the day before, I get me a few miles on my, just walk a few miles on my legs, just give me a nice pace walk, walk around the park, reflect, and just, uh, you know, get, get my mind right. I got to go back home and finish packing. And um, yeah, yeah, finish packing, you know, make sure I don't, I don't, I started, but make sure I ain't leaving anything out. And in the morning, just get on that bird, baby. Get on that bird. And I um, just wanted to let you guys, you know, update you on my, I guess you can call it, just to give it a name, a carnivore, can't call it pescatarian. I, I went starting the 1st of March, I decided, just to bring you up to speed if you don't know, I just start, decided to do uh, uh, only a meat only diet only seafood no sugars no breads no pastas no kind of carbs all i was eating is strictly meats and that's mostly 90 percent of it is seafood i did have a couple of days where i ate just some just a you know a piece of chicken um my son came over we had a we shared a we shared one of them little whole chickens that they sell in walmart them little you know the chickens that they that they um they cook for you um we had one of those i had one of those i had one of those about two or three times and i've been eating just strictly salmon uh, shrimp um me and my mom ate some crabs one day so we just strictly seafood i had i mean in our snack with some walnuts and almonds i mean that was my snacks and i eat eggs i've been eating eggs um I might eat before I, before, um, well, I say before I go to bed because I work at night. I go, I work at night. As soon as I get off of work, I will go to the gym, work out, come eat some eggs, go to sleep, then wake up, then it's time to eat dinner, and then I go to work. That's been, you know, been my, and then like at night, before, I make sure it be, it be before 12 o'clock. I snack a, a bag, a little, little small sandwich bag full of trail. I call it trail mix. It's some, I just mix some walnuts and almonds. And I try to drink a gallon of water every night. I try, especially when I'm working. Now when I'm off, you know, I, most of my consumption is water, but I don't, I don't really quite finish a whole gallon of water the days I'm off. When I'm working, I make sure I kill a whole gallon of water. So that's mainly what I've been doing. And I noticed now weight wise, as far as the scale, the scale doesn't, is not, is not going down, but I look at my body and my body look like it's making some good changes. It's making enough changes. It's making me really think about this month ain't over with yet, but it's making me think about going another month doing this and maybe two months. It, 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 I, I don't know. I don't know yet, but right now, I feel good. I feel I feel great. And I really believe it's because of the fact that I'm not intaking any sugars, any sweets. That's how, what I really believe. Uh, when you're a runner, you know, they, they always say carbs is good for you. It's a good source of, uh, 
you know, energy, slow burning. I mean, energy, especially like your slow burning carbs, like your potatoes and your uh, pastas, you know, like your, your pastas. Because every time before a long run, I'm used to loading up on a, on a, um, you know, a big plate of maybe spaghetti, either some spaghetti or some Alfredo or something like that. And then the next morning, you know, drink a cup of coffee and I, and I take off. And um, the slow burnt carbs like that is re is real good when you're running a long distance. But I have not been eating. I have not been eating that. But I still I still feel great. Um, so, but I will say that eating eating carbs is a good those kind of carbs. Now, when you go to eating stuff like um, cookies and uh, you know shit breads and shit like that. That's not really, that's not really good, um, in my opinion. It's not good for me, and and I I cut all that out. No alcohol, no nut. I if I drink anything other than water, it's a sugar-free beverage. They got these things called ice. It's a sparkling water, got a little flavor to it. Mid and May got this fruit punch. It has zero sugars. I've been you know once I because after you drink a, after you drink a a gallon of water. Sometimes you really want something with a with a kick to it. You want something with some flavor. So I've been doing that. But other than that, and I and I do drink coffee in the mid, at midnight at midnight when I um when we have our break. And that's another. And I go to the gym on my lunch break at, at midnight. Just do a little ab work. And then I go and drink a cup of coffee before I get in, before I go back to work. And that keeps me up and um, along with that water. Because if you drink a lot of water, you know you're going to have to discharge it. And um, So that's what I've been doing lately. That's what I've been doing. And we'll see how this, you know, how this, you know, my new eating, do with my run. My last long run was great. I ran, I can't remember the exact date, but it wasn't Saturday gone, but it was the Saturday before the, Saturday before it was, I think it was about March the eighth was my last. I think that I can't remember the date. I can't remember the exact date, but it was uh, not this not this Saturday, not Saturday gone, but the Saturday before that was my last long run before this marathon. The Saturday gone, I have not. I didn't do anything. I didn't. I, I rested. I didn't do anything. Um, but Sunday, no, hold on, hold on, let me back up, let me back up, let me back up. It wasn't the Saturday before, it was the first Saturday, of, I'm sorry, it was the first Saturday, because this is the third, this is the third weekend of the month. I want to get it right now, let me see. This is, yeah, the first Saturday, the first Saturday of March, that's when I did my last long run i ran 10 miles that felt well it felt pretty good and then i didn't i rested saturday gone i rested saturday gone and then yeah sat, no last saturday i i rested and i ran every day to, every day last week i ran like four four to five miles every day um I would get up early before I go to work, like an hour before I go to work, and get me a four or five mile run. And um, right now, like I said, and that's that's because um, I be, I just did I just did a little extra because I didn't run that I didn't run Saturday, so that's why I just tried. I just said, well, I'm gonna just run every day this week because I did I did not run that Saturday. I can't remember why I didn't run. But usually before before I do a long run, I usually taper down on my runs. I get a long run in two weeks prior to the to the event, and then I just you know get some slow runs in, and it don't be they don't be long. So and right now I feel good. I feel like I'm ready. And um, what's going on, y'all? Right? And uh, I feel good. I feel like I'm I'm ready to ready to finish uh, state number twenty two. Leave it state number 22. I'm almost halfway there. It's been a great journey, man. And um, 
That's all I got. I guess just and, and I'm a um like I said right now I'm gonna just do well around this park right here I'm at. It's a if you go according to my watch, it's one it's a mile and a quarter. I'm gonna go around twice and then I'm gonna walk until I get to three miles. Get three miles, just a three mile walk, and reflect, and just uh and you know finish packing or whatever. And when I get to San Diego. What I probably do Friday, either Friday or Saturday, I'm going to get me what you call, I call it a shakeout run. Just get me a little three mile, put two or three miles on my leg. Just to, what's up, man? Give me two or three miles in. Just run and run it. And, you know, just to let my, let my legs, warm my legs up. I probably, I'm probably going to go to the gym, get me a good little workout in, get me some stretching in. And um and enjoy the city, baby. Enjoy the city, and y'all know I'm gonna take my family with me and let y'all see uh, San Diego. Let y'all see what I see what I do. You know how I'm eating and all that. I'm still gonna do my um. What's up? How you doing? How's everything going? Great. Have a great day. You too. Um, still do my my meat diet. I mean, well, just you know, eating straight sea. Find some seafood spots and just eat straight seafood. No sugars, nothing, not none of that. I'm debating if I'ma drink. I usually, I usually drink some cold beer at the long race. I'm debating if I'ma do that. I don't know. If I do, the hell with it. I shit. I if I do, I do. But I did say, I did say to myself, I was not gonna drink any alcohol. You know, while I'm doing this, no sugars, none of that. But we'll see as the time get there. But that's all I got. I just wanted to let y'all know what was going on just to keep you updated. Let you know I'll be in San Diego tomorrow. Um, be my first day in San Diego. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know exactly what time I'm gonna get there. I don't, I don't have the itinerary, itinerary in front of me. So that's it, baby. Um, thank y'all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. I'm AC, aka Scooby. And I'm a hold on before I, well, I'm about to go, but I want to show y'all this view, man. And I'm going to show y'all exactly why I love this goddamn park. This is a beautiful park. Anybody come to Savannah and want to come to a nice park, y'all check this shit here out. Look at this view, man. Look at this view. They got basketball courts. I don't know if you can see it from here, but they got a, they got that building that building in front of me. That you can rent that if you want to um, if you want to book a have. I see people have family reunions, have parties, and they have a uh, another building you could do the same thing. They got like a racquetball court. They got a playground. I don't I don't know if you can see it through this camera, but I can see it. You know, with my eyes. They got a basketball court. And around this lake here is like I said, it's a mile and a quarter around here. So I'm gonna enjoy, I'm gonna just enjoy the view. And then in the front of the park, they usually have ducks. I don't know where the ducks at right now. They oh, they probably somewhere chilling. But um, they usually have ducks walking around. It's just a beautiful park, man. But I'm out. I'll talk to y'all later.